welcome to another Cocktail Wednesday. And this is what I'm having tonight. I'm having an Emerald Island, which is a pretty simple three ingredient cocktail. And per usual, I'm trying to get rid of some alcohol that I don't like in the house. And tonight's cocktail has two things which I don't really like. Number one, Gilby's Gin. Now, if you saw my previous video, Taste Testing Gins, this is one of the particular gins I didn't like. It's in a plastic bottle. I didn't know any better when I got it. I wasn't a big gin drinker when I got it. And so I've used this to make cocktails over the past three years. And um, finally, last uh, month, a uh, couple weeks ago, I should say, I did a taste test and I found out what my new gin is going to be moving forward is Esme Gin, which is uh, from France. But anyway, this cheap stuff from Kentucky, I gotta get rid of. Cocktail has two ounces or an ounce and a half of gin. Next is this stuff. I got it as a mini a couple years ago. It's cream de meth, essentially mint liqueur and it tastes exactly what you would think it would taste like. It tastes like toothpaste with a little bit of alcohol in it. I, I had one cocktail with it and I forgot what it was, so it, it wasn't even that great. And I, never, I haven't used it since. So the Emerald Island has about a teaspoon of this stuff, so it's gonna be green. And there you get Emerald Island. Uh, if you look online, you'll see what the picture looks like, it's green. Last but not least is this. Bitters. Now, I don't dislike bitters, but I do have them in my house, and I found, a uh, I found a cocktail which has gin in this cream of meth, and it also has bitters. So, um, I'm not necessarily poo-pooing the bitters, but yes, I'm poo-pooing the Gilsby, Gilby gin and the cream de meth. So, let's get to it, folks. The first ingredient is uh, gin. So, you take two ounces of some terrible gin. I use my Gilby's gin for that. Next, you use about a teaspoon of creme de meth. Last but not least, a couple of dashes of bitters. And it tastes exactly what I thought it was going to taste like. It tastes like Crest toothpaste. Crest toothpaste with some gin in it. And since that gin has cucumber notes, it tastes like Crest toothpaste with gin and cucumber. Hey folks, it's a cocktail Wednesday though. I'm pledging to have cocktails on Wednesday, so I'm having one and I'm getting rid of some stuff that I have in my house. I'm almost at the end of this Gilby's Gin and uh, still let, it still has left me with quite a bit of this uh, cream de meth. Um, but anyway, I give this no stars. It looks it looks pretty, it has a wonderful color to it, but it does not taste good at all. Zero star, do not recommend. Thumbs down, anything. I don't know who came up with the idea of uh, mint liqueur. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you like peppermint or you like uh, Crest toothpaste. <laughs> you would like this. I like peppermints, but I wouldn't make a liqueur out of it. I mean, they make liqueurs out of everything, right? So I guess it just based, it's just based upon your individual taste buds. They make it out of anything. Uh, but I would not personally make a liqueur out of mint. 
Now, there are a bunch of herbal liqueurs out there. I mean, chartreuse is one of them. It comes in both yellow and green, and I like it. And I don't know exactly what they use in it, but uh, definitely not mint. And some of the vegetable liqueurs, I, I, I just don't get it, you know. I prefer it be a fruit, you know, because liqueurs are, so, are supposed to be sweet. So why not, you know, if you're going to infuse it and make it creamy and put a lot of, uh, and syrupy and put a lot of sugar in it, why not use fruit? since it's sweet. Um, but, you know, everybody has different taste buds, different strokes for different folks, as my, as my mother would say to me. Stay safe, stay sane, and see you later, folks.